of mine just handed me um, some oil sticks. God, 1996 or something like that. And it just, it just clicked for me. I don't know, right away. It, um, it just, it just felt right. It felt better than aerosol. Aerosol is like lugging 20 cans of paint and like loud and vicious and, and uh, really offends your senses. And I kind of like, painting for me is like a, well, it's an adventure, but it's also a meditation of sorts, um, doing painting trains and stuff like that. And it was just a, it's quiet, there's nothing, and you're in, in this silent, weird, dark train yard. You can see the city, but you can't hear it kind of thing in the distance. And I, I don't know, it just, just, it felt more uh, antique. And monikers, like the tradition of, of hobo, writing on hobo trains is from, you know, 1890, 1880. It's got a, a giant history. Jack London wrote about it in his book, The Road, like chasing somebody with a monica. It was without the ER, it was like the name monica. But like it's been around for a long time and I just, I like older aged kind of things, not as glossy.